Native American Heroes by Anne McGovern. The first section of this book is about Osceola. Chapter 1 Sees Him A Seminole named Osceola kept his dark eyes on the face of General Wiley Thompson. The general was speaking, earnestly and a little impatiently to the Seminole leaders he had called together. He was saying, Fine, fertile lands await you in the western country. Good hunting grounds you can keep forever. The United States will give you seeds, tools, money. The Seminoles had heard these words before. They were words of promise, treaty words. Thompson called this council in 1834 to enforce the terms of two treaties that the Seminoles had already signed. These treaties would send them from their Florida homelands forever. The United States government wanted the Seminoles to move from Florida to the West. Osceola was present at this council. He was not a chief, not even a lesser chief, yet the principal chief of the Florida Seminoles, McConopy, looked to him as a leader. Osceola, too, had heard Thompson's promises before, and now his thoughts were bitter. The white man wants our groves of orange trees, our fine harbors, our full forests and warm fertile lands, but they are ours. Here are our fish and birds and animals, the graves of our fathers, the grounds of our children. Legend has it that at one treaty signing, Osceola had walked boldly to the table where the treaty lie awaiting signatures. Eagerly, the white man had pushed the quill pen toward him. Osceola did not look at it. Instead, he drew out his hunting knife. Then he plunged the knife into the treaty paper, pinning it to the rough pine table. This, he said, is the only treaty I make with the whites. And at this council in 1834, Osceola still did not intend to agree to any terms set forth by the white man. Thompson ordered him to acknowledge the former treaties, but Osceola refused. It took four soldiers to, sub to subdue Osceola. They put him in irons and threw him into prison. Osceola was told that he would be released, but not until he agreed to the terms of the treaties.